WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. This is the 10 a.m. Tiger TV update, folks. And we got markets escalating to the downside in pretty dramatic fashion, man. We're at market lows right now. Session lows, I should say, with the S&Ps off 87 points. That's 2.15% to the downside. You get the NASDAQ 100 off 2.55%. You have the Dow right now off 671 points. That's 1.96%. And how about the Russell off an even 2% as well? We got some economic data this morning. We jump around to the numbers and you're talking about jobless claims we got. 211,000 folks, quite a number. Uh, and what else did we get though? We got retail sales, the headline, I'll get to it, dropped the most in 11 months. Retail sales in November dropped 0.6%, and that's after an increase of 1.3% in October. The market was only looking for a decline of 0.2%. So consumers, retail sales, uh, not as good as the market was thinking, folks, as the economy potentially taking a hit from some restrictive policies. What else do we have going on? The ECB to slow hike pace as it preps market for qualitative tightening. Okay, so they hike by 50 basis points. I was talking about it on my show, man, in terms of what they're looking for in inflation, folks. And uh, they are looking for an inflation. Here we go. For numbers, okay, to the tune of 6.3% still in 2023, and then they're only going to see inflation drop to 3.4% in 2024. That has currency markets getting a little bit royal this morning. There's your dollar index. We're back to 103.85. We're as low as 103.60. We jump over to the euro. Euro US dollar above 107. There's a spike for you. See the action on Tuesday? We were at almost 105. Right now, we're at 107 right now in the euro US dollar. And boy, this market's not stopping, folks. Um, be careful out there. I mentioned towards the end of my program, we're only back to where we were at the start of the week. If you think this is how things look when they get decimated, not the case, man. Okay, you put things on a weekly bar and you check out the action. Yeah, all it is is a huge tail to the upside. We don't even have a red bar right now. Okay, we are just back to where we were, basically, the tail end of last week with the S&Ps off 89 points, folks. We'll finish it up by jumping over to the volatility index right now. Volatility index finally getting a spike, but not usually the spike you would see on a day where we get the S&Ps down by 90 and the NASDAQ 100 off by 320. Stay tuned, folks. we got to replay this hour. Basil Chapman's doing his live trading webinar. He's got some action in the market, man, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to jump in here right after that segment. You can still check it out if you want on the front page of TFNN. It will be archived. And stay